Well, growing out in Africa, I was born in Africa and I grew up in Africa, so since my mom was there, so I started to learn cooking when I was nine. So I always have the passion to cook. I am Mujay, Mujay Guy, uh, from Senegal. And uh, this is Awa, my beautiful wife. Awa? I am Awa Guy, from Senegal. In 1990, I came to the United States to join my husband. But since I have a love for the cooking, I've been cooking every day. So I used to work from Monday to Saturday. I was not working in the restaurant. I used to work in the Reebok store, selling sneakers in the village of Prince Street, Broadway, New York. Then, but anytime I come home, I have to cook. Then I was off on Sunday, waking up my brothers, my husband's friends. I make breakfast, make lunch, make dinner. Three. Maybe everybody will test my food and say, why don't you open a restaurant? Because you're never tired of getting cooking. So then does everything start from there. Um, I mean growing up, you know, you know, living with my mom for the time that I was, um, there was always uh home cooked meals every day and a lot of it were, you know, were places that she traveled. Uh as you know, my mom is uh, from Ivory Coast and Senegal. So a lot of food sometimes may derive from, from both places, some from other places that she traveled. Like one dish is that, that she make a lot, you know, also was the, uh, the Saka Saka, which is a, 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 a Ivory Coast kind of dish. And then you have your traditional dishes uh, like mafe, chebu jin, chebu yap, the best of both worlds all the time. So as a kid, you know, you know my mom definitely had a passion for cooking. It's not something that you like, it's like something like this, like when you do something that you like, it doesn't become work. So that's like what it is basically. Uh, if you go, you, you, you know, you'll be, you'll be surprised. And I mean, see if you go to visit a Senegalese family, it is lunchtime, huh? Listen, they won't eat if, if you don't come and, and share with them. They say, listen, come on in. And, and that's how it is. So people share hospitality. We they wanna we're gonna share it because if God bless us to have uh, this plate and you come at this moment, you're part of it. You have to understand how we've been able, yes, sir, this restaurant to bring white, black, yellow, in the same neighborhood. And then everybody was enjoying themselves. People will tell people, come sit here. Huh? Yeah. So I, I, I remember Somebody tell me, look like the United Nations. I, yes, I, it is the United Nations. And they, we have the solution to bring peace. So Yasa itself is, has something uh, on the air, which when you come to Yasa, you feel like you are part of it. Nobody is left behind. I feel like home. Exotic. The food is Unique. flavorful. Unique. The food is 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 uh, uh, something very important. This this food is an adventure in every bite. Every bite of the food gives you an adventure. I mean, uh, we can uh, be here in this location without our customers. You know, there's some days I say, okay, I'm going home to relax. I sit two hours at home and I'm boring already because seeing the people come and go make me happy. Be in the kitchen, be able to discuss with them, to, food, uh, to, uh, to cook for them. Once my customer sees me, then even the food is not good, they say it's good. I was here today. Oh, you cooking? How are you here? I said, I'm here. 